Welcome to the Concise Net Hack video about polypiling and net hack. The Concise Net Hack videos show you what you need to know about specific net hack areas without wasting your time. In this video, I'll show you how to pile up items, then polymorph them into other, hopefully more useful items in net hack. So let's talk about polymorphing. You can dip items into a potion of polymorph to polymorph them one at a time. But polypiling is using a wand of polymorph or a spell of polymorph to polymorph many items at a time. Polymorphed items don't change item class. So for example, polymorph polymorphing a potion will change it to a random potion and polymorphing a spell book will change it to a random spell book, but you will never polymorph a potion into a spell book or anything else. Polymorphed items have a chance of shuddering. That means they'll be destroyed when they're polymorphed. Cursed items are more likely to shudder and blessed items are less likely. There's a chance that a polymorphed item will turn into a golem when it shudders and that golem will then destroy all the items in that pile that are of the same material. So if an iron golem is created out of a helmet, for example, when it's polymorphed, it can destroy all other iron items in the pile but only one golem can be created per pile. And to really understand the details of polypiling, you need to read the nethackwiki.com nethackwiki article on polypiling. Some people polypile junk. I usually just polypile good things like rings, magic armor, like uh, elven cloaks, elven boots, cloaks of invil invisibility, etc. Uh, magic tools like unicorn horns, magic whistle, whistles. I like to polypile spell books, sometimes potions and scrolls. All right, if you're going to polypile good items, you're going to want to put them in piles in a row. For example, you can see here that I have uh, dug a tunnel here. I dug a tunnel so that monsters wouldn't get my stuff that I'm polypiling. They won't get my polypotter, my poly fodder. Uh, I've just I made five piles of items here. Uh, you can go up to seven. A wand of polymorph will zap between three and seven piles. Um, another alternative is uh, short of, instead of polymorphing piles, is to polymorph one big pile um, of junk. And I'm going to show you that now. Um, I've been altar camping here, so I've been kicking all my junk into a big pile here. There's a whole bunch of junk here. I'm not going to use it. I'm going to zap a wand of polymorph at it. With this many items, I'm likely to get a golem. That golem will destroy, likely, the other items of the same material. But let's see. I've got a blessed wand of polymorph, J. Zap J that way. I feel shuddering vibrations, which means some of the items in the pile were destroyed, but I did not get a golem this time. Let's look at all these items and see if I got anything good. Uh, standard weapons. I'm looking for artifact weapons, but don't see any there. I've got ooh, a conical hat. That could very well be a cornithalm. Is that how you say it? It may just be a dunce cap, though. I'm going to pick that up because it's a magic. If it's a cornithalm, it's a magic item that I'll use for poly fodder in my line of piles. Uh, do you see any other good items there? Um, I got a scroll of death. I don't need that. All right. That was beneficial. I'm going to do it again. Zap J down. Again, no golems here. Did we get any artifacts? A silver dagger. That's nice to have sometime, but I don't need it now. Um, I don't see any good armor, any magic armor there. Scroll of enchant weapon. I had one scroll, or maybe two in here. I like that enchant weapon. One more time, and then I'll move on. Zap J down. Okay, this time we got an iron golem from the metal object, so there won't be many metal objects left in this pile. Let's kill the iron golem and see what he left me. All Oh, a pair of jungle boots. I don't know what those are. A bag called bag one that was an unidentified bag. Um, could be something. I mean, let's pick it up and identify it. And then uh, the iron chains. No other iron items. All right, I'm going to zap identify, so I'm going to take off my... Uh, gauntlets of power, take off G, zap, identify. Let's, uh, oh, interesting. I'll uh, identify everything, but where is the, what happened to the um, stuff I tried to pick up? Jungle boots. 
uh, oh, let's kill the troll, the ice troll, and offer him and kick the junk down into my pile. Zap identify, zap identify. Those are water walking boots. And all right, I did something wrong and lost that cornithowum. Um, must not have picked it up somehow. Okay. Now let's talk about the other way I do things. I have a bunch of piles of objects here. You're only seeing the top item in each object. I don't use a lot of items in my piles because the more items you have, the more likely you're going to get a golem, and a golem could destroy the other items of that same material type. So I usually just do four or five, and I typically don't do seven piles. I typically do about five because I usually have enough sources of polymorph, and when I have seven piles in a row here. It's unlikely that I'll ever polymorph the ones on the end. You you can do it differently if you want. So here I have an amulet, magic armor, a unicorn horn, and a spell book. Same here. Different items, but same types. Uh, amulet, magic armor, unicorn horn, and a spell book here also. I could sometimes I polymorph small stacks of gems, especially my worthless glass. Um, and I didn't have enough um, amulets, so I've just got the three. I polymorph amulets, hoping to get an amulet of life saving. Let's zap my wand of polymorph at that stack. So, shuddering vibrations, I uh, lost some items, but polymorph the rest. Concave amulet, don't know what that is. Pick it up. And I got a spell book of dig, a whistle called knot, studded leather armor. Um, you'll notice that I have dug. A couple of extra spots here. Sometimes I'll pick up my junk, like that studded leather armor or that whistle that was not a magic whistle, and drop them here. If I wanted to polymorph other items of that same material, I'd definitely put them there. I've got some hiking boots. So you're seeing I'm getting items that I have not identified, which means I haven't seen them before. Um, spellbook of Remove Curse. That could be uh, two spellbooks. Oh, there's an opera cloak. Let's get that and more hiking boots, magic whistle, and a spellbook I haven't identified. All right, um, let's take off my gloves. Oh, those hiking boots. Um, oh, I'm not wearing my gloves. Zap identify, zap identify, and just identify my items. Those were kicking boots. I don't need kicking boots, so I should drop those as poly fodder here. They're still magic boots. Um, I should mention that magic items are more likely to polymorph into magic items. Unmagic items, like I had in my junk pile here, are less likely to polymorph into magic items. Zap. Okay, I've identified what I can. Um, I still have opera, cloak, I've already identified keeping these, indigo spellbook and copper spellbook. I should identify those. I've probably got some scrolls of identify, and I could do that, or I could wait till I have enough power to cast my identify spell again, and then I would replenish my uh, poly fodder here because I keep my stash here in the same room. I got a bunch of magic armor, I got a bunch more magic items like unicorn horns in my chest here, and I will pick those items out of here, drop them in my poly pile piles and then zap them with my wand of polymorph. Uh, there's a lot more information about polypiling. You could read the nethackwiki.com article on it, as I mentioned. But I think that's all I'm going to show you for now. I should also mention that there may be better strategies than the ones I use here. Please add comments down below for simple strategies for polypiling. But I uh, thank you for watching this video and um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.